Good, how are you? You've got smalls, mediums, and heavies over here. Can I do a half dozen small and then a half dozen medium? Sure. Thank you. Hi! Oh my god, nice to meet you. I know. He's a ladies' man. <laughs> We got a half a dozen mediums and a half a dozen smokes. Yeah. We're all out of mealworms. We've got trout worms and uh, night crawlers. Shoot, okay, out of mealworms. I'll do night crawlers. Uh, the trout one should be fine. Wow, they definitely filled it with water. Those shiners will not be running out. Well, welcome back to another exciting episode. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, clicking on today's episode. We definitely have an exciting one. The aerator is frozen, so that's always fun. These shiners might not make it. Let's check on these guys. Wow, those are lively shiners. Okay, cool. They always got good stuff here, so. Quaker Lane Bait and Tackle, is that the name of this place? I don't know where to put this, it's gonna get soaked. Oh, my truck stuff is gonna get a little wet, but whatever. Um, where were we? Where were we? Sorry, that was a terrible interruption. We're 17 minutes-ish away from the pond. Keys are important. Turn the truck on. Uh, yeah, so today's gonna be an exciting episode. There's, there's a couple things I need to quickly note. Please don't make fun of my backup beeper. Please don't make fun of my backup beeper. So for starters, I did indeed dodge the vid. Okay, so I, I dodged it. I don't know how, but I did. Um, and then I dodged it, but now I have bronchitis. So if my voice sounds stuffy, that's why. I haven't, uh, this, I think this is like, I didn't post a video in like four or five days, which is kind of long for this channel, and I apologize. But I'm gonna post a clip of what my voice sounded like and why I could not film. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. I cannot film a YouTube video like this, so I'm sorry that I haven't posted one, but listen to this. Do you want to listen to this voice the entire YouTube video? No. No, you don't. What the heck? Why do I sound like this? <laughs> no. Yeah, I sounded kind of really ridiculous. I didn't want you guys to listen to a full-on video of me sounding like that. So that is, uh... Why is there a dude crossing the street with a bike? Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. One of the worst things you could possibly do while having bronchitis is probably ice camp. And that is exactly what we're doing today. I got my Mucinex XD whatever stuff. So I, I don't feel bad today. The past couple of days I have felt really, really terrible, but um, I'm feeling better today. And the weather next week is looking really weird. So I think if, I'm going to ice camp in Rhode Island, now is the time to do it. I checked ice yesterday, I found ice with 6 inches, we'll be ice camping on 6 inches, which, um, you know, 4 inches you can ride a snowmobile on, 4 inches and up, so I feel fine ice camping on it. Last year when I ice camped it was also 6 inches, um, so it's just, you know, 6 inches is pretty thick, but it's not, you know, a safety, it's, it's safe, it's safe. Could it be safer? Of course, of course. Anything can be safer than what you make it, all right? But moral of the story is we're gonna ice camp. I got my cot, sleeping bag. Um, I have a recipe that I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight that you guys blew up the comments on what you wanted me to cook in the oven. So I'm bringing the oven out, hopefully, if everything goes to plan right now. And yeah, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. It should be a blast, like a really, really fun episode. I'm jacked right now, I've been so excited all day. Um, but yeah, let's head to the pond. 14 more minutes and uh, I'll meet you guys there and let's crank out a beautiful night sleeping on the ice just me and you where we're having a sleepover you and I yeah that's a that's a lot of stuff sick Seven inches. 
seven inches okay i did drill in a different area of the pond but this is seven inches right here i'm happy uh this is fairly shallow of a pond so i'm just gonna i'm gonna set up camp right here or should i set up flags first i'm gonna set up flags first so just in case we catch fish while we're setting up it'd be pretty cool That's my sleeping cot that just got soaking wet. We got six feet here, which is actually pretty good for this pond to find six feet. It's again, fairly shallow pond, but there's a lot of fish in here and not many, I mean, I would say not many small ones, but there's definitely some big boys. One flag in, couple more to go. What the heck is going on? This flag keeps going off. I wonder if the shiners are super lively. I'm not gonna show the whole nine yard setup of me setting everything up right now, but I will show you guys some important parts and whatnot. But what I'm gonna do right now is set everything up, put the flooring in, the cot in, everything. So this should be fun. I'm out of breath. <coughs> Bronchitis is feeling good. Okay, I've done it. I did it all by myself, set this thing up. Pretty excited to show you guys what's, uh... <laughs> it's a little messy, but I'm excited to show you guys. We got the propane tank uh, with the cord right here so I can zipper it up to at least right there, uh, which is fine. I don't really mind that being on. Got our bait right there, our hole, and then our cot. Underneath the cot, I got some storage. I put, a, um, it's like a yoga mat and it's perfect. It helps with the insulation just in case it gets watery in here. It's gonna keep me nice and safe from whatever and I can take my shoes off. Um, and then we got the oven, which we're gonna be cooking dinner on and breakfast on. So we got all of that, bunch of storage. We got the heater going. This thing's gonna last God knows how long, um, way longer than this trip. We got one flag, two flag, and not a third flag over there because I don't know where the other flag is. We got a lot going on. Um, I'm super excited. I wanna see if I can catch a fish jigging in here. So I'm gonna start jigging really quick. Um, sun's going down soon faster than I want it to, but yeah, the sun's going down. So let's see if we can crank fish before the sun goes down. That'd be amazing. Ah. Oh. Living in luxury. Ba -da -ba -da. Propane's going. So we got an air vent right here. And then we have the other one opened over here and then that will probably be closed for the nighttime, but we do got two air vents for cooking and for one uh, we're sleeping with the heater on, so it's perfect and safe. Oh my god, fish on me. Fish on me. He bit me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> bluegill! Bluegill! Yes! Hey guys, first fish of the freaking ice camping adventure is a gill. I'm gonna let him keep my mealworm just because he's our first fish. Uh, yeah, keep it. I'm trying to shove it back in his mouth. <laughs> Peace out, little guy. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, we have a flag up. Doesn't mean it's a fish, because this is the flag that kept going off earlier. But you still never know. I don't see it moving. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be fish on here. Yeah, I just took my pants off. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. I'm not feeling too many head shakes. Nope, oh, head shakes. Oh yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Look how skinny that bass is. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this was the one that just kept going off. I wasn't that hopeful, but we got him. 
I was literally just about to start cooking and then I just wanted to check the flags really quickly and I saw this flag was up and I kind of wasn't hopeful because you guys know this one popped up twice for no reason when I first sat down but that's a very skinny but that is indeed a largemouth bass so one quick bluegill in a largey let's let him free and then uh, start cooking some dinner we gotta set this flag back up though but fish number one as a bass well fish number two but first bass of the day of the night oh my god I forgot this is a night mission, baby. Oh, see you. <laughs> Long and skinny, almost like a pickerel. When they first came up, I was like, I don't know if there's pickerel in there. There probably is, though. We're back in the shack, kind of just warming up. We've got bluegill and a bass, which is awesome. Um, when you're ice camping, you can't really ask for much more. Like, good food, good company, relaxation and whatnot, and just the hope of catching some fish, too. I mean... We've checked a lot of things off the list so far and it's still really early on in the video and in the night. But I'm super excited to show you guys what I have for dinner. It's something you guys have blew up my comment section about making. So we're making something special in the oven and hopefully gonna crank a couple more fish. I'm gonna wait to make dinner probably in like another hour or so just cause it is kind of early. And I don't wanna rush into dinner and then be hungry for the night. So for now, we're just gonna keep on jigging watching the flags and then we'll make dinner in like an hour for you guys obviously not an hour but for me in an hour or so oh fish on me fish on me fish on me that's not small that's no <laughs> oh, ripped a headphone user sorry about that screech oh my god he's on me again he's back there we go there we go that feels like good fish he's stuck in the transducer he's stuck in the transducer no, no, get in here. Oh my God. He's wrapped like 50 times. Another gill. The amount of times I've ice fished here, not a lot. The amount of times I've ice fished here and caught gill, this is my first time. All I'm doing is taking some night crawlers and literally just throwing them whole down the hole. Throwing them whole down the hole. Um, that's what I usually do if the bite is horrendous. And the bite's not horrendous by any means, but it's just a quick little tactic that I do if like I really want to catch fish and I have extra bait. This lighting definitely makes me look like a ghost. Like I look pale right now, don't I? Yeah. It's okay, you don't have to lie to me. To make me feel better. Oh, is that a fish? That's a fish. No, you suck, Becca. Oh, there's multiple fish. Many, many fish. Big fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my God, it's a big bass. Oh my God, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. This is a huge fish, guys. that perfect hook set in the roof of the mouth oh let me hold them right <laughs> yes that mark was huge i knew that wasn't gonna be a gill oh my god <laughs> oh man um everything's paying off everything's paying off we just caught a bass jigging caught a bass on a on a tip up this is no joke look at this I love you. You taste fine. So I love you. Ugh, go make babies and do something cool. I don't know. You're I don't even know what to say to you. I'm just so blessed. You're not a giant giant, but uh oh. Buddy? Bah. Bye. <laughs> Fighting a bass on an ultra light rod is insane. Look at this Ben. Look. The tip of the rod is touching the reel. This reel is, um, this reel, this rod is like most ultralight, ultralight, the most ultralight to the ultralight I've ever had. Like they, this, this rod takes the word ultralight to a whole new level. So that was just an absolute unreal fight. Easily one of the coolest fights I've ever had on the ice ever. <laughs> just cause of the power of this rod is non-existent. <sighs> that was sick. Unreal.
Unreal. Well, that just made the whole trip worth it. Oh, a fish is coming up on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a slab! Oh my god! I was lifting my rod out of the water. Just, just so I could look at my tackle box and find a glow in the dark jig. What is going on? What is going on? We just got a giant crappie. Oh my god, I think I'm marking another crappie too. I think I'm marking another crappie. Suspended. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a giant crappie. What the heck? I just try I just tried to double up. Did you guys see it jumped at the hole? Oh my god, I'm shaking. Look at the size of this crappie. Look at this My head? Can you guys tell the difference? Look at my head. Look at my head. Gone. My face? Gone. Oh my god. See you later, buddy. They were suspended. Like, suspended, suspended. I almost just doubled up on crappie by myself in the middle of nowhere, Rhode Island. And laying in bed. Well, sitting up in bed. I'm gonna put a nightcrawler on. Oh, this one's, this one's glow in the dark. Okay, we're gonna rig this one up. But yeah, fun... Fun fact, if you didn't know, because I didn't know my first year of ice fishing, is there's glow-in-the-dark jigs. So, oh my god, massive mark. Massive mark just came after my bait when I lifted it out of the water. No, no, come back. Come back, please. Dear fishing gods, please make that fish come back. That was a giant. That was a huge mark. No way that was a crappie. That was a bass. That was, that was a very large mark. Oh my god, big mark. There we go. Uh, we got the small mark, didn't we? We did! No, the giant mark is still down there. Look at the size of this gill. Bye! Oh my god, he didn't go down, but but the mark is still there. The mark is still there. The mark is still there. There we go. This is the big mark. This is the big mark. No! He just broke me off. He just broke me off. That's what happens when you catch so many big fish on four pound test line. I'm sorry for abandoning you for a minute. <laughs> Bye, bud. That was a really small gill. I don't even know how I hooked him. All right, let's put the glow-in-the-dark jig on, and maybe that'll help the fish get a little bit more fired up on our bait because it's uh, pretty much pitch black out right now. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. Hold on. Let me um, turn this off completely. That is the glow-in-the-dark jig right there. Wow, now I'm blind. Dang, I can't believe we just got broken off. For whatever god awful reason, you guys absolutely love the oven, so we're cooking on it. You guys blew up the comment saying to make pizza, and that's exactly what we're doing. So, uh, one of our lights aren't working anymore. This one just completely died. So now we have one lantern for the entire night. Okay, Let's see if we can get this right. Got those two on, and then you close that. I think we did it. We have to have those burners on in order for it to heat up here. Right now, that red is right down the middle, which means it's not warming up in there yet. Yet. If you didn't watch the video where I exploded, you know, I'll leave that link down below. Yeah, uh, I'll leave the video link down below if you missed it when the oven exploded on me. That was, that was a good time. That was a great time. Yeah, you guys enjoyed that video, so I figured I'd bring the oven back. <laughs> it's back, baby. The good old oven's back. People have spoken. We are making pizza. I didn't know how well, like, making dough out here was going to be, so don't hate me, but I got, like, pre-made, like, dough. Sorry. There we go. Oh, my God, I got it. The oven's on. I figured it out. I don't need these burners on. The oven is heating up. Okay, now we can peacefully fish. It does take like 25 to 30 minutes to preheat. I didn't know what to do for sauce. This is like a dairy-free company, but there's usually not dairy. 
um, in pasta sauce, pizza sauce, but I grabbed this kind. In case you're new here, I have a dairy allergy. Uh, there we go, pasta sauce. Yeah! Okay, that should be enough sauce. And then because I'm allergic to dairy, uh, we got dairy-free cheese, which is honestly not that bad. Y'all, y'all can hate, but I gotta do what I gotta do out here. Low lighting situation. My big light dying, but we're still making pizza. The heater's off. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Ah, uh -huh. I like the looks of that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's almost preheated at 300. So I'm gonna pop it on in. We're just gonna we're just gonna throw it in. No mercy. There we go. Splendid. Now all we do is patiently wait by fishing. And hopefully catching some fish. We're definitely marking them right now, so. Oh my god. Get down there, get down there. No, he left. That was a massive mark. No. As I was saying, we're gonna fish because what else is there gonna do? What is what else is there to do, you know? There we go. There we go. Feels good. Oh, that's a giant gill. Oh my god, it's another giant. How? How? Oh man, nothing better than making some pizzas and catching some fish. That was just a toad. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check on our pizza though. It hasn't been crazy long, but long enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let me open it up for you guys. <laughs> that looks so freaking good. It looks like it's pretty much ready, I mean, Dairy-free cheese doesn't melt like crazy, and that's pretty melted for dairy-free cheese, so that's a good sign. Okay, this is going to be your plate because, yep, I forgot one. I've remembered everything else, though, so I can't even be disappointed. Oh, come on. <laughs> this, this is a lot harder than it looks, okay? Yeah. Hey, it fits in the cast iron, like, perfect. I should have cooked it in the cast iron, but I didn't think it was going to fit. Okay, now how do we turn this thing off? There we go. Okay, it's off. Not too bad. Come on now. Oh, I just broke my rod. No. I just sat on my rod. I was trying to show off my pizza. And I sat on it and snapped it. No. I do have another rod. I have like two other rods on me, but this was my favorite rod. Rip. Mm-hmm. This is so freaking good. This pizza is making me not hate my oven as much as I did the last time you guys saw it. Mm, for the obvious reason I hated it. Um, it exploded in my face. I'm so impressed. Being allergic to dairy means there's not many opportunities I get to make or like have pizza. Like you don't just order pizza from Domino's and ask for dairy free cheese. That's not a thing. So every opportunity that I get to have one especially this good makes me so happy am i a pro at cooking no but this says otherwise <laughs> even though there's like no spices or anything it's a bare minimum pizza i should have got pineapple to go on the pizza are you a pineapples and pizza person i'm curious
we can have a debate in the comments. I feel like that's like such a 50-50 thing. You either hate it or you love it. Pineapple on pizza. A little sweet. A little this. Mm. I like it. Last bite. Mwah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that cooking session. Unreal. I don't know how well it looked to you guys, but that looked pretty good to me. And it tasted unreal. Uh, don't hate on the dairy-free stuff, okay? Can't help it. Allergic to dairy. My bad. But right now it is 7.08. Hopefully you guys can see that. 18 degrees. Feels like is 12, 4 mile per hour winds. Yada, yada, yada. Um, it looks like when we wake up, it'll be like 25. That's not bad. It's not, it, the coldest it's going to get is right now actually so that's cool we'll be fine i'm hopeful i've slept in way worse so i'm not worried but i think i'm gonna get make my bed a little bit more situated and then get in it and lay down and fish it's a lot of work putting all this stuff together so pretty exhausted Ugh. I'm full. I'm so full. But just because I'm full doesn't mean the fish aren't full. I'm so tired. It's 8 o'clock. This bronchitis is kicking my butt though, I'll tell you that. I'm going to chum the water. But I can't even tell you guys how bad this bronchitis thing has been. Especially because I already have asthma. Pretty bad. Just really sucks. They also brought a book they lurk in the murk it's actually a fishing book by this really cool guy he sent it to me and um, I'm really excited to read it like very very excited to read it but I'm a sucker for fishing books like uh, the Jeremy Wade uh, fishing book you guys know or well if you don't know I, I, I read it in one of my camping videos unreal I didn't finish it but I have to because it was good I'm just lounging look at this Got the oven, the heater, the fish finders right there. We got the hole that we're fishing in. Come on now. Come on now. Oh my God. There we go. Oh my god, giant crappie! Giant crappie! Oh my god, it's a giant! It's a giant! What? 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 I was just... I was just jigging! I was just... What? Oh my god, that's a toad! That's a toad! Oh. My. God! Why didn't we do catch and cook and why didn't I bring my fly knife? Are we kidding? Nighttime? Freaking crappie fishing. My face? Gone. My face? Gone. This thing's giant. <laughs> I'm just lying in bed. Look. No exaggeration. Just lying in bed. Nighttime crappie fishing. About to go to bed. Bye. Are we joking? Did that just happen? Dude, that was crazy. I wish you guys could have saw that. He was on me for so long and I didn't say anything. I wasn't like, oh my God, fish on me. Because I've had like 50 fish on me in the matter of like five minutes and they've all came in, looked at it and went, peace out. So I didn't say anything. But he was like going up, going down. Like one of the craziest like reactions to, um, <laughs> A jig ice fishing I've ever had and I was like this is either a giant bass or I have no idea duh a crappie on crack okay it's officially <sighs> only 8.05 and I'm just exhausted rod down and I'm gonna turn off the light and I'm gonna hit the hay 
tomorrow morning we're gonna have an unreal breakfast and crank some morning fish. Let's see what time the sun comes up. A 7.02. I shall set my alarm for 6.30. So, 6.30. 6.30, 6.40, 6 Got three alarms on so we can wake up and get on some early morning fish before the sun goes down and right before the sun comes up prime fishing time so i'm gonna hit the hay i love you guys good night let's enjoy our sleepover together see you guys in the morning Okay, right before I went to bed, I put a flag in here, and it's currently 2.30 a.m., but the flag is up. I just randomly woke up and checked. Um... I don't know if there's a fish on there. It hasn't moved. But I don't know how long it's been up. Oh my god, we have fish. It's heavy. It's heavy. I wonder how much line he took out, holy crap. Oh wow, there's so much line. Okay, we got... Oh, it's fighting now. Oh God. <laughs> He's pissed. He's pissed. He's so mad. Oh, it's a good fish. No, oh, come here, come here. <laughs> oh my God, that's a giant. That's a giant. <laughs> what? That's like a two and a half pounder we just caught. Oh my God, what? Wow. That's my biggest bass. This is the ice of the season. That might go three pounds. That might go three pounds. Holy crap. What? Bye, bud. For a second there, he didn't really like swim off. He obviously ended up swimming off though. That would have been stupid. I guess it wasn't the worst thing to put the flag in here. I thought it was going to be dumb and it wasn't going to do anything, but wow, we just caught, I'm calling that a three, we just caught a three pounder. Okay. It's uh, 4.30 and we have a flag. But it's most likely a frozen hole. I don't think we have anything. I think he's off. 
Dang. <laughs> Our bait's gone though. Look at Winter storm warning, 25 degrees, which isn't even bad. Feels like 19, but yeah, 25 degrees is not bad. I'll take that all day. <laughs> So, it might be, it, it, it is, it might be, but it's 5 a.m. And um, that's not going to stop me from cooking up some pancakes right now. Look at this. This is the same company that I used last time, and you guys said it was so good. A lot of positive comments about this brand, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it again. This one's confetti. Um, so last time we did blueberry. A little different. And all you gotta do is add water so it's super easy for camping situations like we are now. Not bringing eggs, oil, this, that, you know. Um, I don't know. Let's cook it up. I'm excited. Ooh, look what I just found. Is this my headlamp? Does it work? Oh, yeah. Cooking with the freaking headlamp on? I think yes. Okay, game plan. I forgot a bowl. We have no bowls. We have nothing to mix mix it in. Nothing. So I actually don't have a game plan. This might seem a little ridiculous, and that's because it is. But we do have this. We're camping. We're raw dog in life right now, okay? We're gonna go for it. This is our mixing bowl. Is um is this. Looking pretty good, right? That confettiness. Oh my god, did I even bring a plate? Oh, I suck. I'm gonna turn it super low because we got the cast iron. Oh, she's a little frozen. <laughs> There's a 99% chance I'll find the plate while well, cleaning up tomorrow, but no idea where it is right now. Beautiful. It's gonna be a nice tasting waffle. I mean, pancake. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that flip. I just did that. That was all me. a little burnt but not that bad that's just that's just added flavor mm, uno dos all right we got beautiful maple syrup you know i kind of like the blueberry one a little bit better <clears throat> Wow. I was expecting to like this one a lot better, like, by landslide, though. But this is good. Like, really freaking good. Oh, it's, it's getting better every bite. I'm going with blueberry still. These are good, but their blueberry ones are just unreal. Six forty. 
it is prime time. We just had a massive mark come in and mess with us for way too long. Um, and he didn't eat. He did not eat. But, still a good sign that the fish are out right now. The sun is coming up, man. I'm probably going to open up all the windows, actually. That's a good idea. A little condensation never hurt nobody. Wow, lots of condensation. <laughs> That's a lot. All right. All right. Sun's coming up. Rise and shine. Let's crank a fish. That's why you do these. Those pads save your life. A little yoga, yoga mat action. Holy crap, lots of water going on in here. thing takes up the entire sled. <laughs> All right. That's enough cleaning. Let's catch a fish. Let's let's start the morning right. Not the morning, the day. Let's start this day off with a bang. Now I'm cold. Maybe not my best idea, but whatever. I got hit by a bus. I forgot to bring like a makeup wipe to uh, wipe off my makeup last night. So I fell asleep with mascara on and look at my raccoon. Raccoon looking this morning. That's me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I had so much fun. I'm definitely exhausted right now. It's a lot of work ice camping, especially alone. Looking at all that stuff uh, by yourself and without a snowmobile also sucks. Um, one day we'll get there, but for now, I'm pretty satisfied. We make do with what we got, and I had a freaking blast. Crank some fish, couldn't get on our last fish that I really wanted to this morning. Ended up missing like five fish in a row when I said I wanted to catch one more fish. It's like, can't even say that stuff anymore. It's just how fishing works, but yeah, I love you guys, appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day and watching today's episode all the way till the end. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you beautiful people next time. Bye.